Hello everyone, today I am going to be unboxing the Astro A40 headset in pink. Now this is actually not a new Astro headset or anything like that. It's been out for at least a year now and I finally was able to get it for my birthday which is really awesome. Astro actually has a whole series of the A40s in these like neon colors which is really cool and I really wanted pink of course. So I finally got my hands on this pink headset so I, before I go ahead and unbox it I actually want to talk a little bit about my experience with gaming headsets because I've had quite a few within the past few years and they are both not currently functional and having a gaming headset is something that's really important as a gamer of course when you're doing online gaming and I do like a little bit of streaming every once in a while as well so I really needed to get my hands on a good quality headset and I think Astro is definitely going to deliver that. So my first headset that I actually had was a Turtle Beach headset. I don't even know what it's a really old. I must have got it at least four years ago, four or five years ago, and it was it was pretty good. Like, it definitely served its purpose as a decent gaming headset. Um, this is how it looks on and everything like that. Except I saw that the quality of the actual microphone was deteriorating at least a year later after I got it. So it didn't even last a year, and this mic sounds like I'm in a wind tunnel sometimes. It's just not the best quality headset, though. It wasn't super expensive either, so... After this one started to crap out a little bit, it was um, like a year and a half ago, or maybe it was sometime last year, I think, I wanted to get a new headset, and I really wanted to get pink, because <laughs> I love pink technology, and I've decided to start collecting a lot of pink gadgets, like my 3DS is pink, yeah, and what else? Oh. My, one of my laptops are pink, and I have a lot of other pink gadgets, so I've been collecting. And there aren't that many pink headsets out there from these brands. And I saw, like, I know SteelSeries has a pink one, and the Astro one, the pink one, came out about, like, a year ago or so. But I decided I wanted a pink headset, and I decided to get these Triton Kunai's. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's Kunai. And this is a Triton headset, and it's not the best, honestly. It still works, like the speakers still work and everything like that, but the mic, which is detachable, it's not here. The mic broke, so the mic is not functional, but I guess as a headphones, as headphones, they're pretty good, I guess. I can still use them and everything like that. Like, this hasn't broken, but the mic itself broke, so that's a big problem, obviously. So it wasn't too long after I got these that Astro decided to announce that they were going to release a pink headset. And I was like, man, come on. But, you know, honestly, these uh, this is a pretty big investment, this Astro headset, because they're not cheap, but you get what you pay for all in all. So I paid cheap for those um, the kunais, and I got what I paid for. I was really torn between either getting this one or Razer actually has a pink headset. They also came out with like a neon series, their, um, the Kraken, I believe it is. So I was torn if I wanted to get the Razer Kraken or if I wanted to get the A40s, and I finally decided that I wanted the A40s and I got them for my birthday. So now I am going to go ahead and open these up and check them out. This is actually my first Astro headset ever. Um, I'm very familiar with the brand, I'm very familiar with Astro, but I've never actually purchased a headset for myself. I've used them at all like the gaming events I work at whenever I'm demoing a game. There's always Astro headsets, so they're definitely like the brand of choice for me when it comes to headsets, but again, I have like really bad headset hair right now. This is like a problem for girls, we get headset hair. When we put headsets on and off, like, our hair gets all messed up, so I apologize. Um, I'm just gonna, like, break open the box here, not cut my fingers off. Alright, here we go. <laughs> so now I'm gonna open this up. Let's check it out. Pretty cool packaging on Astra's part. I like the graphics. And open up our box here to get... Our headset. Now it's even better looking in person. I've never actually seen these in person yet, but I've seen lots of pictures and videos of my friends using them. And I'm like, man, I really want these. And they are very, very pink. Like, this is pink. I'm comparing it to my other pink stuff. Like, you can see I have, I love pink. Like, I have, a, my pink Xbox 360 controller is like this 
white pink. This is a hot pink. <laughs> so this is pretty awesome. Um, as usual, Astro has these really cool speaker plates that are detachable and you can get your own custom ones. I obviously will probably be getting custom plates at some point. I don't know when, but I will. Um, and let's see, the mic is here. I don't know, is the mic detachable? I believe it is, but I don't want to mess with it too much. Yeah, of course my like microphones should be detachable nowadays. My Turtle Beach microphone was not detachable, so you can't ever use them as just like headphones. You always have that stupid mic, so that's kind of a down a downfall to that, but yeah. As you can see they swivel, of course. Headsets should always swivel. Another thing about my Turtle Beaches, they did not swivel. At least the Kudai's did. So they're like both of my old headsets, they had like pros and cons to them, but this just takes everything that they had and puts it into one. And it's on top of that really, really great quality headset. And so this is how you can adjust to your head size. And we got the Astro logo here at the top. It's a very, it's like kind of a really chunky headset, but I think it's really cool actually. It's not too chunky for my head, I guess. I kind of have a big head, so it's well, maybe it does. I don't know if it looks a little, a little awkward. Hold on, let's see how it looks. Adjust it properly. Yep, so there it is. That's how it looks on my head. It's very um, noise canceling. That's another really great thing about this. There's the noise cancel, and here is my mic right in there. We also have our cords. Now, it does, I did not get the mix amp with Astro. If you want to use it for consoles, you should get the mix amp that you can plug in and everything I've got, which is pretty cool. This just has your basic PC wires, which for now, that's all I really need. Although, as you can see, I do play console. I don't really need the mix amp right now, but I probably will invest it in the future. Um, and here's all our volume controls here. We got the um, game and then the regular mic controls. We have our mute and unmute as well. And that is that for this Astro headset. Um, there's some stuff underneath here as well, if I can open this up. Hold on, I'm gonna take this off so I can hear myself talk right now. I just realized I had the headset on backwards. You know, the L and the R was backwards, so that was kind of a fail. Uh, I got some information here. I got my instructions on how to use. So now I'm going to try these on again with the right ears and everything like that. So this is the left ear, right ear. Here's my mic, detachable. And I'll show you where the, um, the cords go in. So here in the back, it's actually in the back of the ear. I just plug it in and then I'm able to, you know, attach the PC cables. So this is how it looks with the wire and everything. It's not like obnoxiously placed anywhere. It's kind of subtle in the back of your head. So you're able to wear these and not have to interfere with your cord too much, which is really awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and plug these in and check out how the speakers and the microphone and everything works. Let me know what you guys think of Astros or any other headset brands, what some of your experiences are with gaming headsets, because I'd love to hear some other stories or experiences with different gaming headsets. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. I'll see you later.